the Spanish Armada, a fleet of 130 ships, set sail with the intent of overthrowing Queen Elizabeth I and conquering England. This colossal force was a sight to behold, a floating city of wooden galleons, each boasting up to 100 cannons. It was the pride of Spain, the embodiment of King Philip II's ambition to assert his dominance over the seas. The Armada's mission was clear. On board were over 20,000 soldiers, mariners, and sailors, all prepared to wage war on England's shores. They were to rendezvous with the Duke of Parma's army in the Netherlands, a force of 30,000 strong, and together they would launch the invasion. Their route was meticulously planned. From Spain they would sail northwards skirting the western coast of Ireland and then eastwards into the English Channel. Once they reached the Netherlands, they would escort the Duke's troops across the Channel, a formidable force ready to strike at England's heart. The Spanish Armada was not just a fleet, it was a floating fortress, it was a testament to Spanish naval engineering and the might of their empire. Each ship was a work of art, intricately decorated with carvings and gilded ornaments that were a testament to the wealth and power of the Spanish crown. Yet, for all their military might and meticulous planning, the Spanish had overlooked one crucial factor. They had prepared for every possible resistance from the English Navy, but had not accounted for a force no army could control, the weather. The Atlantic Ocean is notorious for its unpredictable weather, and the English Channel is no exception. It's a narrow body of water, fraught with powerful currents and treacherous storms, a maritime challenge even for the most experienced of sailors. As the Armada set sail, they were confident, their spirits high. They were the mightiest fleet in the world, seemingly unbeatable. They were ready to face the English Navy, ready to claim victory for Spain. But as history would have it, their confidence would soon be tested. A formidable force, the Spanish Armada was primed for battle, but it wasn't the enemy's cannons they should have feared. As the Armada approached the English Channel, unforeseen storms scattered the Spanish ships. The winds of fate were beginning to blow and they weren't in favor of the mighty Spanish fleet. You see, the Armada was designed for a different kind of warfare. Their towering galleons bristling with cannons were built to intimidate and dominate but they were not designed for the merciless onslaught of the North Atlantic storms. Imagine being a sailor on one of those galleons. You've been at sea for weeks, cramped in with hundreds of others. Your mission, nothing less than the conquest of England, is clear in your mind. But as you approach the English Channel, the skies darken, the winds howl like a beast, and the sea churns as though possessed. This wasn't just a storm, it was an upheaval of nature, a tempest so fierce it seemed to have a will of its own. The towering waves crashed against the sides of the Spanish galleons, pushing them off course, scattering them like toys in a bathtub. The once mighty armada, so formidable and threatening, was now at the mercy of the storm. The ships, tossed about on a raging sea, struggled to maintain formation. The sailors battling the elements were in a state of chaos and disarray. Orders were lost in the howling wind, shouts of panic swallowed by the roar of the waves. And then, the unthinkable happened. Ships started to sink. One by one they were swallowed by the unforgiving sea. The galleons, once symbols of Spanish might, were reduced to splintered wreckage. Sailors who had dreamt of glory found themselves fighting for their lives, grappling with the cruel cold sea. The storm was relentless. It raged for days, showing no mercy to the beleaguered armada. And when it finally subsided, the once mighty fleet was in tatters. The Spanish had lost dozens of ships and thousands of men. The armada, once the pride of Spain, was crippled. But perhaps the greatest tragedy was not the loss of ships or men. It was the loss of hope. The armada, built to be invincible, had been defeated not by English guns, but by the capricious whims of nature. The dream of conquering England, so vivid and tantalizing, had been dashed against the rocks of reality. In the grand tapestry of human history, the defeat of the Spanish Armada stands as a powerful reminder. It shows us that no matter how mighty our creations, how grand our ambitions, we are ultimately at the mercy of the elements. The Spanish Armada set sail to change the world, and in a way, it did, but not in the way the Spaniards had hoped. The storm that scattered the Armada didn't just change the course of a naval battle, it changed the course of history.
The mighty Spanish Armada, now at the mercy of the unforgiving sea. England, outnumbered and outgunned, found an unexpected ally in the weather. As the Spanish Armada, a formidable force of 130 ships was scattered and weakened by the unforeseen storms, England saw an opportunity. The English fleet, significantly smaller and less powerful than the Spanish Armada, faced a daunting challenge. However, the English ships had a distinct advantage, their size. They were smaller, lighter, and more maneuverable than the massive Spanish galleons. This allowed them to navigate the stormy seas with greater ease, darting in and out of the chaos caused by the tempest. But it wasn't just the physical advantage of the English ships that tipped the scales. It was the skill and audacity of the English sailors and their commanders. Against the might of the Spanish Armada, they had to be cunning, brave, and unorthodox. And they were. The English fleet, taking advantage of the storm and their nimble ships, launched a daring attack. They set eight of their own ships on fire and sent them into the midst of the Spanish fleet. The Spanish, fearing their ships would catch fire, broke formation, further scattering their fleet. This tactic, as audacious as it was, worked. The Spanish fleet, already disoriented and damaged from the storm, was thrown into further confusion. The English then attacked the scattered and vulnerable Spanish ships, inflicting significant damage. But the storms, England's unlikely ally, were not done. As the Spanish fleet tried to regroup and retreat, they were hit by more storms, further damaging their ships and forcing many of them onto the rocky Irish coast. The Spanish Armada, once a formidable force, was decimated. Of the 130 ships that had set sail, fewer than half made it back to Spain. The rest were lost to the stormy seas and the English attacks. The wind and waves, once a sailor's nightmare, had become England's savior. Through a combination of audacious tactics, skilled navigation, and the unpredictable power of the weather, England had managed to defeat the mighty Spanish Armada. The defeat of the Armada marked a turning point in naval warfare and shifted the balance of world power. These words echo across the centuries to remind us of the potent, unpredictable forces that shape our world. The aftermath of the Spanish Armada's defeat was monumental, rippling across the globe. England, once considered a second-rate power, emerged as a dominant force on the world stage. No longer the underdog, England's naval prowess soared, carving out a path that would lead to an empire on which the sun never set. In the wake of this pivotal moment, the world watched as the balance of power shifted. The Spanish Armada, once a symbol of invincibility, had been humbled not by a superior force, but by the untamed fury of nature. This defeat not only crippled Spain's naval dominance, but also marked the beginning of England's ascendancy. While we recount the events of this historical turning point, an intriguing question lingers in the air. What if the weather had been different? Imagine a world where the Spanish Armada had not been scattered by storms, where England had not risen to prominence. It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? A world reshaped, all because of a change in the weather. This thought experiment serves as a stark reminder of the profound impact that seemingly minor events can have on the course of history. The storm that dispersed the Spanish Armada was not an act of man but a natural phenomenon, yet its consequences were anything but ordinary. In the grand theater of history, it is easy to focus on human actions and forget the role played by the forces of nature. But as the story of the Spanish Armada illustrates, sometimes it's the silent, invisible currents that steer the course of events. So let's remember, a gust of wind, a change in tide, and the world was never the same. For it's these winds of change that truly shape our history, reminding us of the unpredictable yet inescapable power of nature. The forces of nature have shaped human history in ways we often overlook. The tale of the Spanish Armada is a testament to this. It was not the might of the English Navy or the cunning of Queen Elizabeth that ultimately foiled the Spanish invasion. It was the unyielding, unpredictable power of nature. The winds and waves of a storm at sea decided the fate of nations. For more stories of how the unexpected changed the world, subscribe and turn on notifications.